the little bitty ones. All right, guys, today we are on a river that we fish all the time, but we have never been to this access point. So it's new, new territory to explore. It's a real sluggish part of the river, but it's fairly deep and easy, according to my friend, to motor back and forth. Once you're out in the main river, as long as you're paying attention, it stays fairly deep on this plateau and you can go back and forth real easy. Today we are trying for goggle eyes, smallmouth and spotted bass, largemouth. It's the main four species that we're gonna be pursuing. Had a f <clears throat> There's a lot of sticks down there or something. They keep getting me hung when they run with the worm. All right, guys, long ear number three. That's a really pretty one there, boy. Real pretty. Wow. I am. I just caught another long ear on accident on the rebel crawdad. On the Cajun Craw. I think that's the name of it. Or Spring Craw, one of them, I can't remember. It's more of a gold. Black top, gold, orange bottom. She just caught one too. A little long ear on a red wiggler. Hey, that's a big one. That's a neat one there. Nice long ear. Wow. Huh. Not bad. That's a pretty one for sure. This is a beautiful long ear here, guys. What a colorful specimen there. Wow. Goodness gracious. There we go. All right, that's something nice. Oh, man. Dang. He was at least a pound. He was a pounder. Spotted bass or largemouth. Oh, whoa. I might have that buffalo. Oh, drum. Maybe that's what we seen. You know what? That could have been what we seen. They kind of look the same in the water. All right, guys, I got a nice drum. He's about a pound and a half, almost two. Oh, we're happy just to get anything. This is one slow day. 
and we're just exploring new ground so we don't know this river whatsoever up here it's a very weird section of the stream where it leaves the Ozarks and enters the flatlands Alright guys, let's get him back in. A little fresh water drum. Alright, I got a nice bluegill for once. Not a bad sized bluegill. Oh, it's hard to fish right here with all these branches right above me. Yeah, nice male bluegill. I need another worm. He's about six inches, not terrible. He's cool, got pinks and greens and blues and grays, olive. Nice little bluegill. Still four kinds. Okay, I see it. Yeah, you do. All right, Wilma's on a bass here, guys, finally. Almost everyone has gotten off today. It's a spotted. Sure is. All right, she got him on the Bandit Mistake 200, where it's bumblebee color on one side and red and black on the other. All right, guys, we're starting to slowly get a little evening bite. I had the camera off a minute ago, but I missed, I had a triple hit on the whopper plopper. Wilma had a good two pounder on the crankbait, halfway in, got off, and then she hooked another one a minute later, a different fish, got off. It's been really bad hooks that day, guys. I don't know what the deal is. It's been a horrible day, period, but we could have had twice as many fish but for some reason they're get, they're not setting, they're not hooking themselves and we're using double treble hooks because we're using crankbaits so that don't make any sense because the sunfish that will attack them will hook themselves it's just like they're short striking all the bass are boy look at that log right in deep water too do you? Well, on what, the crawdad? Nope. Oh, oh, man, that's a big fish. Let him tired, oh my God. Oh my God, it's a flathead. Really? Yes, let him tire down, let him tire down. You lucky dog, you lucky dog. God. Guys, Wilman just caught about a about a three pound flathead on a Rapala jointed hey crawl crankbait, a red jointed Rapala. <laughs> Look at this guys. You're gonna have to hold this up with the lure. I wanna get a good video of you. Oh my God. Red seems to be the, my God. <laughs> we go fishing for flatheads and can't get a one and we get them on accident. Both flatheads have been on accident. Now careful with this hook, but I want a picture of you with the crankbait in it. Oh my God, you lucky. Hey. Oh my God. That's good eating size too. If you want to keep it, throw it in the cooler. It'd be a good fish to throw in the cooler. Guys, what a surprise after a very bad day. She caught a flathead on a red jointed crawdad imitation rapala uh, talk about a nice surprise <laughs> up about three inches uh, 
hold it like you was. It was like that for a second, okay. Down. Okay, and now sideways with the crankbait on my side where you can see the crankbait. No, you had it right. You had it the right way. Now you got it the wrong way. That is an awesome fish, my God. Down. Now hold that pose to stay like that. My goodness. Now you got the fish kind of bent real like, weird. We you got the fish bent real weird like a banana. We almost ended three. Okay, now you got the fish bent real weird like a banana. It's a little flathead for a lure. Man, that's just a what a surprise. Okay, now pointing toward his head towards me. Okay, now lift his back up. No, like you just were, and then his back up. No. What? Water. What a beauty. We decided to put her back. Let her see another day. Rapala crankbait flathead. It makes me wish I would have went for flatheads today instead of where we came. But we did finally get lucky at the end of the day. Just a little two pounder, but it's a cool little fish. Hold like what I hold it. Like that. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> He won't quit, look. <laughs> God. Okay. Yeah, nice flathead. <laughs> wow. What was I just saying earlier? I said, I said, yeah, because the limb lines I seen, I said, yeah, there's a few flathead in here, but not very many. I just hear, uh oh, be careful now. What is that? Smallmouth? Man, you lucky dog. You're just whipping me today. Goodness. Yeah. My goodness. Okay, hold it up for us. Then we'll have to, and I'm gonna go to the bathroom, then we'll gotta go. That ain't bad. Hold him by the lip. That's why he's bent funny. Well, his nerve. You got him hooked work. That's real good for him. Hold him with the lure in his mouth. By the mitt, lip. By the lip. He's sharp. I know. Wilma got on one last fish. She got lucky today. She got the small mouth and the flathead. Both on the same lure. I'm gonna have to get me some more of them. I got one. I should have been not so stubborn and put it on. I kept trying top water and the rebel crawdad. Goodness. Okay. Just hold that pose. Man, you lucky. About 10 more seconds. Okay. Goodness, yeah, we would have had a great day. Guys, we missed six fish today, or we would have had a great day, especially with that flathead. No, you hold the fish. 
All right, guys, we're gonna get him back in. Beautiful smallmouth, though. All there was was an evening bite, and that was it. The day, middle of the day was horrible. When the sun was real bright, it was, it was awful. Okay, I can tell there's a stick right there. Mm. Oh boy, it's real shallow. That's how they do that. Yeah, I got the camera on. All right, well, I got one last fish there at the end. A little spot. Good job. Caught him on that jointed rappel. That thing is on fire. I'm gonna go out and purchase a couple more of those. I got one that looks just like it, but it's not jointed. It's a single piece. Hold him down. Good job, honey. All right. It's working. I have it. 